G'day mates, this is just a little pre-message to let you know that I am currently away at PDXCon slash Europe slash London slash Sweden. Uh, Stockholm rather. Uh, so join the Discord down below to see IRL streams, any videos or photos I post. Uh, if I do any meetups or anything, I'll post about that in the Discord. They'll be like, oi, meet up now or whatever. Um, and pretty much all of that, if there is something wrong with the video or ridiculous or literally anything, I can't change it. Until I get back from uh, Sw uh, from Europe, so that'll be all around about the 20th, is uh, a little bit later than that, I'll be coming back. Um, so yeah, enjoy the video. G'day mates and welcome to 8 Years War of Resistance. We're getting some use out of Mel, aren't we? Oh yes, today we are playing, well, for the next few days, uh, we are playing the, oh god, none of these boys, I was actually hoping he'd be here. The Communist Chinese. What are they called in this one? The Chinese Soviet Republic. There's good old Mao. Hiding behind a wall like the cornered fox he is. No way out. Long march. Oh god, no recovery effort. And fragmented government. Perfect. Let's actually go and fix this then. So I've been told that resisting the nationalist is not the best path. But I've also seen uh, that during my nationalist run, I did, I did a nationalist run on stream just to sort of test things out and see how they worked. Uh, that the communists actually have partisan activity, it sort of appears, and it appears on the map. It's very weird the way it happens. Um, I'll try and go down that line if I can. That was a weird sort of, uh, combination of music just then. Let's see real quick. The Rise of Zhang. Ha! Ah, huzzah! No, uh, we wanna go... Reunification, Domestic Peace Agreement, no... Not the Sparks, I'm trying to see if, like, maybe it's a... Choice... I just recall seeing, like, the old Border Wars. For those you don't recall, the Border Wars used to be a, um, a sort of weird... Oh god, feed the peasants. Yes. They used to be a sort of weird yellow sort of thing, like an overlay on the map. There used to be, like, this yellow overlay, and then when you had troops in the area, there would be a Border War happening, but they were broken as fuck, because there was only one place they were ever used in. Yeah, here. Partisan Offensive. Okay... Going to focus on more of the enemy areas and reform and recruit more of them in these neighborhoods. Unlocks partisan offensive decisions. They can stir up communist partisan activities in different states. Okay. Oh my god, we get uh, the bloody mass assault doctrine. Of course we do. Um, devious tactics. Oh wow, holy shit. Let's see again. So like intelligence ideas will be cancelled when we control over 20 states. Okay, but this one will never be cancelled. Surely it should be the other way around. Weird, alright. Um, recruit remaining nationalist troops. Oh, wow, that's fuck all. That's two per- I mean, I guess when you're China, 2% of, uh, overall population is actually pretty bloody good. Um, we request Northeast China. Look, I just want to get this one pretty well. So, how do we get rid of fragmented government? I just want to start doing commie, um, sneaky sneaks. Okay, well, okay, by the end of this year. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. Alright. Five-year plan, which is when we establish our new nation. Um, oh, it looks very similar to the old one where, yeah, you have the, yeah, this is basically the old, uh, old one. Man, hang on, what if, holy fuck, China could potentially get the, like, a ridiculous number of heavy factories, right? So, look at this real quick. China has a focus here, that if you go down it, uh, where are we? Yeah, here we go. If you go down this... You can get 12 military factories and a huge buff, right? Really good, really, really good. Okay, that's fine. But 12 military factories, that's the important part. All of the nationalists could create the same thing. Once they go down this line, then if they take over those territories, they could then put the 12 factories in. So, Republic of China could put the 12 factories in, then the Second Republic could put the 12 factories in, and then the Soviet Republic could put the 12 factories in for a state that should not physically be able to fit 36 factories in it. Like, oh wait, no, so it wouldn't be, it'd be spread out among different states, but fuck me, China would be such a powerhouse for whoever is left at the end. And I mean, you could keep going with this. Anyone who has the, uh, rival government tree could do it. You could do it, you could do it, you could keep stacking it. Hmm. I want to disable the AI and do this one time. It would take a lot of effort, because you'd have to do, like, what? Like, five focuses in each, you have to complete the f this full tree, plus, uh, what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five focuses in this tree. But you could do it. You could... Oh, that's that's an idea for a bit of a fuck around I want to do now. Alright, maybe we want to get back from Sweden. Anyway, should we actually uh, look at our own country and start planning out what we're going to do? Yes, we shall. 
Let's see our army group. Oh, Lin Bao, how are you doing, man? Lin, I remember you. You're just, just get in here, get in here, Mister Lin. Is uh, is Mao actually a? Is Mao not? Oh, Mao's not one of our guys. Oh, He Long. It's Huey Long, except the, it's the Chinese Huey Long knockoff brand. Um, let's actually get Peng instead. He's honestly just a better general overall. There we go. Now, to start off with, we're probably going to be declare war on, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, shit, we can get a border war immediately. Oh, either way, we can get a border war. Um, do we want to... Oh, wow, we can we can just win the war straight up. Okay, hang on. So, Conference of Soviet Region. Fuck, there's so many choices here before I can even just kick straight in. There's, a, there's an immediate choice. All right, so let's, let's have a quick look at this. We have the choice between going east, which means that we strike... The Shenzi clique, which is these boys. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Um, and then we start to actually try and take out China. We just straight up go over uh, and try and kill China, which I think at the start is going to be nearly impossible. They have far, far superior... Yeah, their, their army is just so much better than mine to begin with, right? So that's that's an okay way to start it. Um, although I guess I don't really have to use the war goal. I can just sort of hold on to it. Um... And then I can go down there, declare war on Japan, vandalism. This will <laughs> vandalism. This will give enemy debuffs. I like the idea that's not you know sabotage. No, it's vandalism. They're drawing "Go home, Japanese" on the side of buildings. Like uh, I feel like they're gonna say it a little bit less politely than I did, but you know. Um, no, no, no. Weird. All right. Th the other way is this path. So. The Northeastern Army. Ah, this is the truth, right? This uh, the, the truth, the truth, marked half and truth. Uh, the truce between the commies and the Northeastern Army, right? Which I feel like is what I want to go down because then I get to feed the peasants and get to giggle about that. Then we can join the War of Resistance when it comes to it, and we can make the uh, Shanganning border region. Okay. Oh. Basically, it's the choice between recognizing the government and then sort of going down that path versus not recognizing the government and going down this path. But if we go west, we have the chance immediately to start uh, going down the Soviet supply line, which means we can start invading a bunch more people. And then we can get Zhang to take over. Zhang can assume authority. But Trotskyism. Ooh. Ooh, Trotskyists in power. Excluding bureaucrats. Oh, oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. Hmm. There's just so many choices down here. I don't know what to go for. Holy shit. We could straight up just go fascists. You're kidding me. I didn't even. I thought. We don't have a fascist party. How can we go fascist? Hang on. Oh my god, we can actually go fascist. A new nation will be established. You're fucking kidding me. What? What? I kind of don't want to go fascist, but I kind of want to go fascist because it's so fucking stupid. Support North Korea? Wait, what? Hang on, how, okay, how do I get to supporting North Korea? Okay, this is my final goal, I want to do this. So... Okay, I'll need to go... At least a domestic peace agreement, which requires... For the Soviets or Federal Republic, which requires... Down here, which requires Republic or... Okay, so we need to basically... Assume authority. Okay, so we need to go down this path. Assume authority, republicanism, uh, democratic centralism for the Soviets. Down to democratic peace agreement. One of these, we can go... Okay, no, we have to go this one. So, regional revolutions, right? Down to Sparks Revolution, supporting North Korea. That is that. That is the end goal, alright? I'll do some fucking co uh, some fascists another time. I do too many fascists as is. The fascist line doesn't look that good. It looks kind of nice in that you can, I don't know, you can reclaim Mongolia and Tibet and then request territories from everyone. Which looks pretty nice though. Oh man, look at that. Like, that's what, 10 people we demand territory from. God, I'm so torn, what do I go for? Right, fuck it. North Korea, North Korea, damn it. We're gonna help him out. Kim Jong-il, we're coming. We're coming for you, baby. All right, go west. Here we go. The Mar click, we need to go help him out. All right, put that down. And then a factory. Beautiful. Let's immediately get set up with this. How's our military factories looking? Nothing but guns. Perfect. Just the way I'll have it. Alright. 
I just looked at her fucking... Look at Peng's fucking portrait. It looks like he's leaning back going... Hah. He's doing the H3H2 H3 face. H3H3. H3. Oh, you know what? The lowercase can stay there. Perfect. The cracking Kim cores. Uh, sorry, core rather. Sent over to save North Korea. Saving North Korea. Perfect. That's the main goal of this run. Let's get to it. Um, oh, oh, there we go, on the border. It's presuming we're going to start a border conflict somewhat soon. We'd like to be careful of that, wouldn't we? Tick on some time. Wait, are you going for encirclement campaign? No, okay, you're going for the, uh, it's called Mongolians first, which is good. What do you mean go west? Oh, you went east. I don't claim to be a smart man, but sometimes I ask for a little bit of forgiveness. Game plus. Please don't punish me that hard because I went to the wrong border. I I'm aware it said go west. For some reason, I I read I read um, Ningzi as Shanzi, cause cause you know, game plus game no. Oh boy, oh no. Oh wow, holy shit! They actually have a fair number of uh. Well, we're actually going to take their capital. Holy shit! That's going to do a serious boss for us. That's going to basically, that's going to more than double our manpower. And hopefully, oh, it won't give us as many factories, but it should give us a few at least. Um, honestly, the real threat is just opening up more territory towards the nationalists. However, in saying that, we will get the peace treaty, uh, peace treaty pretty quick. Oh, come on. Come on, win this for me, baby. Okay, we are winning this. They were all unprepared. Good shit. The coup d'etat in the Imperial Japanese Army. Beautiful. Alright. The crackdown was successful. Beautiful. Your rebellion has imploded from lack of internal support. Lovely. Looking good all along the western front. <laughs> Hoi. Uh, what do we got? Fuck, our guys are just so shit. So shit. We need to start making better boys. The best boys, in fact. We could escalate conflict. Ooh, that doesn't actually... D help us much because we'd need to escalate into f honestly I don't even think I could win a war right now yeah they actually have more troops than me yeah I mean okay maybe damage is done in the state right there we go all right not too bad we'll get that shit repaired pretty quick and uh, I can repair on its own time actually let's open up the Soviet supply line and we have to de defeat the uh, Marklik within 70 days in order to win the war okay all right, well, shit. So we just have to, we just have to basically just go straight to. All right, we don't have to start because it, it happens when we start the focus. So hang on, Lin, get back in your fuck. God, border wars just piss me off with the way they treat uh, generals. All right, here we go. Whilst they're still recovering, I'm gonna move up, guys, real quick. Whilst they're still recovering from, uh, what do you call it? There we go. Break through the Northwest Corridor. Moscow agreed earlier that it would not be obstructed by Chen uh, Kaysek to give any assistance if we could get through to direct contact with Mongolia. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we may actually be winning this now. I reloaded because basically what happened was I got stuck at this river, and then not only do I was on a time limit, but also the Nationalists declare war on me. This is happening again. However, this time I got across the river just by cheesing it and sprinting forwards. So that worked. Uh, and it seems right now, if, if these guys can actually stop getting attacked, we may... May be able to take these uh, horses out. Though, I'll be honest, they're giving me such a ridiculous uh, resistance. Because their capital is in hills, it's a little bit fucking hard to take, at least without any... Cornered no more! Long live the People's Republic! One last stand! Huzzah! Wait, oh shit, that does, that's actually bad. I don't get fucking division attack anymore. Damn it. Anyway. We are literally pouring everything we have into this fucking pile of troops right here. And they just will not die. No! I don't want to press this button. This means we lose. No! Fuck off! We're so close! And victory! Ah, oh, there we go. Except, you know, not somehow. Okay. But we still get the focus, don't we? Oh, yeah! <laughs> so we cheesed that fucking hard. Anyway. I was going to wait until I was going to do like the peace deal. Actually, I can't do this now because you'll say they won't accept our request if we have more than three states. Uh, if they refuse, uh, then the nationalists, then we just go down this tree instead. So we still get uh, the fucking anger of the nationalist tree, despite the fact that we went with the, the Soviets as well. Weird. All right. Well, let's get Zhang in charge. The Chinese Communist Party will led by Zhang uh, Guato will win the warfare repeatedly. <laughs> Hang on. 
That sounds like something that a primary school is going to say to try and win class president. Comrade Zhang Gao Tao will win the warfare repeatedly. <laughs> I believe in him. I'll vote for him. Would you not? Besides, Mao's kind of useless now. Like, I love your face, Mao, but he's no longer cor a cornered fox, so he doesn't actually get all the bonuses anymore. We can go take cum. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. Holy shiting bollocks. Some desperate warfare later, and we've managed to pull a sort of defensive line. Uh, we need, like, a moment to get our org back together and actually dig in, but we're kind of holding it? Ah, oh, the Soviet aid, thank god. So, I had to, uh, I had to do some fandangling here, because I realized I was, my troops were milling about, and it was like, immediate de declaration of war, I was like, oh shit, right, hang on. Oh, hello! From the Gundung click, a massive amount of officers are joining it. It's believed these officers- oh shit, no, Chang's regime, right, is, is doing the whole, uh, switchy switchy thing, right, I forgot that happens. Hang on. Oh, come on, these- these amount- uh, okay, let's- let's move troopers over from the forts, because they just- they cannot hurt the forts. Look at this, they have zero, zero, zero on the forts, right? But they can hurt the troops in the mountains, if only slightly. And so we're trying to def desperately staff them. You know, I'm just gonna cut down on production here, we just want someone! Literally anyone to defend the line. I kinda wish I still had this state, we lost it, but that was also in the hills versus mountains here. So I feel like it's better to have one state under more threat than a- have two- have like a hill state that we can't really defend at all. Now you guys get back to here. You guys retreat that way, we wanna just keep staffing that middle state. I think we're okay, we could use like a few more troops to sit steady. But- oh, get out of here, what are you doing? You're a fucking- you're on the fort- we only need one guy in the fort areas, but the, the AI doesn't realize that. The AI wants two guys. But if they have two guys, then you weaken everywhere else! God damn it! Alright. How many casualties so far? 1,000 for 9,000 of theirs. Good job, lads. Actually, 11,000, but still. Um... Why can't we do this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we have to strike east as well? Ha, ah, fuck. Um... I did not realize this. I did not realize this. I should have realized this much earlier. Fuck. Uh... If a division is in a border war, can it still fight? Because if so, we should be okay? Let's just try. Save game. This may go terribly. Alright. Very strange starting to this. I had to learn a few things quite quickly. The first of all being, oh boy, don't go for the war. But then I went for the war anyway and it actually fucking worked through heavy cheese. Realistically, I should have just waited, peaced out with these guys, and then gone to war with them, and that would have been just as okay. But, uh, fuck it. I've gone for the weird timeline. The timeline where I'm fucking with things, and it's perfect. Right. The problem is it's gonna pull guys off the main line to go fight this border war, which is what I'm terribly afraid of. So, let's hope that we've worn them down enough that we can, like, guard it with the, the reduced troops that we'll have. Okay, seriously, just all the new gear goes towards putting out more boys, because we're gonna need more guys to defend the fucking lines after this. We're only producing three a day, that's it! That's so shit! Oh, cause wow, oh wow, because of everything, basically. Strike East, that's not gonna succeed, is it? No. I wish we had some Artie. We, we have Artie, but we just don't have- Oh, fuck. Okay, guys are abandoning lines. No, you- Oh shit, you're part of that guy. Right, you guys move to here. Quick. Okay, he's gonna get there in time. Good, okay, good, good, good. Right. Uh, I think we might be able to hold this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't think we're gonna win the border war, though. We needed some money in our boys. In our boys. Our border war boys. Problem is, you can't even select which ones you want for the border war. It's not even, like, the closest ones, because it pulled guys from over here. Huh. Governmental reform. Should we get... What is this? We need to get KMT to fight them instead of us? Okay. Maybe a referation of government. So we're gonna change the national flag. Which will apparently give the opinion zero? What? Ch sure. G'day, Zhang. Wow, your face. I'm gonna change my flag real quick. Wow, we're now communists. Excellent. I'm glad of this changing. This was perfect. Excellent. What? How has this helped us? Um, oh shit, apparently I can, even if I don't succeed at the border war, I can still kick him out. Alright, let's, um... What do I want to go? I, I guess I just want to do this, because I know they're going to refuse me anyway. Maybe? Let's just try and go this, because we might as well. Because we can then complete this anyway. That'll be fine. I think we're actually, we're kind of surviving here, just holding out as the way we are. 
Can we get uh, army? Yeah, army regrouping just to get back together and back together in more pieces faster. We are about to lose this, which is fine, honestly, because cool. All right, cool. Defeat whatever. Now, guys, rejoin the main army, please, and actually like fight. There we go. Perfect. Oh my god, these guys are veterans now. Holy shit. We've got really good troops. Uh, okay, well, look, we're being threatened in this area. Hang on. We need to march guys down. Come on. 12. No, uh, third. Okay, okay, we're starting to win again. Oh, very quickly won there. Alright. We've got the veterans. The veterans return to home. Oh, here we go. He refuses our request uh, for a truce despite our sincere pleading. There is little hope for it. Okay, we'll fight with all we've got. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I just lost some fucking political. Wait, what? Wait, so this this focus restarts. What the fuck? I thought it I thought it just gets rid of it. Oh god fucking damn it. Well, let's just do this focus. Well, that was just a that was literally a focus to lose political power and stability, I think it was. So, doesn't that feel great? Doesn't that feel like it? Oh, okay, that works. Never mind, I got this for free. Still fucking stupid. Still fucking stupid. Um let's get recovery from the long march. No. Get Hebe, 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 Hebe. We could do the national call. Where's the Hebe's? The Hebe's, Hebe's. Sure, let's get the Hebe's in. The Hebe's should be right. Unless, when I mean, it's only 35 days to call the Hebe's in, we'll do that. And then we'll do recovery effort. Sure, and then we'll do national call. And there, I don't know where we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. Perfect, get the Hebe's in. This is the dumbest timeline. What are we, what are we doing? Oh boy, the, the Mongol military government is fighting the Shenzi Yan, uh, sorry, Suyan army. Oh boy. The, uh, it's called. Basically the Japanese Mongols versus the Chinese Mongols slash Chinese. I don't quite understand. There's a lot of very confusing factions going on around here. I'm not entirely sure who's who or what's what. Alright, everything's just very fucking confusing. But I think we're doing okay now. I think we're holding the line. Good. Hebe, Hebe, you want to join us, boys? I mean, you hate the Nationalists, don't you? You'd love to join us. Look how terrible the Nationalists are. I mean, Chang's in charge. He's actually a zombie. Mutiny's the army. Hold a patriotic speech. No, we can't do anything about that right now. Chill. Nothing about that right now, because we are fucked. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Wow, mutinies are so bad. Holy shit. Oh, they agree. Nice. Wait, they just became a puppet of ours? Seriously? Um... I will take your forces, thank you very much, and I will put them on the border and dig them in. Holy shit, did you really just- why did you puppet yourself- to, you know, that's fine, that's fine. Just sprint yourselves down to here- wait, hang on, Shangdong's their puppet, isn't it? Right, okay, we're actually gonna need to attack then. Form an attack vector. We could try and just defend Beijing to try and draw the nationalists off to another front. It's not even a terrible idea, let's- let's see, if, if we can't attack well, we'll try and draw the nationalists off. Here we go. Just go, boys. Oh, fuck. There's immediately guys on them. Yeah, okay. We cannot attack. Fuck that shit. All right, boys. Defensive line it is. Behind the river. Perfect. Just another way to distract the nationalists. Lovely. They want to send us gear? You know what? I'll take it. Perfect. I assume authority. Uh, division defense? Yes, we want that shit. Greet policy? I assume that means we greet them. Uh, and we say, welcome to China. Here's a landmine. Let's get a Shum Authority, then we'll go Recovery, National Call, then Resistance, probably. I just want to Shum Authority so I get that sweet, sweet 10% defense bonus. Guys, could you actually get on your fucking borders, please? Oh, these guys have signed a white piece. All right. Have you been puppet or anything? No, just peaced out. All right, fair, eh? All right, all right. The Nationalists are losing in the north as well. Oh, hang on a second. That's a little bit scary. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. See, we can dig in the north, we've dug in the, uh, the west. Overall, we're doing pretty fucking well. Oh shit, we just got some more guys. Nice, you boys join the line. Join the line! Join the line! Oh shit. <laughs> the moment they did an all-out attack, we immediately start losing. Great. Uh, guys? Guys, anyone, uh, provide support, maybe? Maybe you guys, who are, like, all alone here? Are not really doing much? Okay. Oh shit, hang on. Beautiful. Alright, let's try and give half of these guys, pass them along, try and help defend this area. Oh, get across, get across, get across! Okay, beautiful. Right, that should help hold the line for a bit. Oh, this is very unsteady in the north. We are so likely to fall at any moment. 
We could recruit, decrease it to a smaller area, but I think the river is giving the biggest debuff right now. Yeah, river crossing is minus 30, so... Problem is, this is just a plains. We could pull them back to here, but I think they'd be able to... I don't know, they'd be able to attack from here and take us out, probably. Take us down to Chinatown. Uh, what's there? We could build a land fort. We could just build two land forts on uh, Beijing and try and hold them there. These guys aren't about... Yeah, no, they're not about to surrender if they lose these parts. I feel like they're going to need... Yeah, let's retreat to Beijing and build a land fort there. Here we go, guys. I know, I know, it's terrifying, but you're going to need to go back. I refer to this as a Polish star fort, except you're only facing in one direction. So, you know, just a Polish fort. Singang's decided to block our entry into the Singang region. Hmm, Singang has decided to block our personnel from entering the region of Singang. It looks like they might have some secret agenda. I don't have a good government, do I? They don't seem to understand how nations work. <laughs> Not really. Uh, let's get... Okay, fuck it. Do we want to just go... Uh, sure. Surround the mutineers with loyalists. Done. I'd like to have my units operational again, please. Fully operational battle stations. Thank you very much. Alright. Okay, we've almost got this guy done. The forts are going up. In a moment, we'll be doing better than ever. All the... Ex oh, God, this... It's not doing great! It's not doing great! Okay, Republic of... Okay, we can start going down... I like how we can... We've almost reached the North Korea focus, but, uh... Let's go... Recovery effort? No, National Call. Let's try and get everyone in. Because we are, like, these guys up here are going to lose very soon. Get down and help them. Get down and help them, for fuck's sake. Right, yeah. Let's get Artie. Oh, wow, why is it so short barrel? Let's... Oh, we didn't have enough uh, enough fucking metal to make multiple artillery pieces, so we just made very sawn-off pieces of artillery. It's, it's alright, it's a shotgun artillery, which actually existed, by the way. Always re remember that from uh, Empire Total War. Go on! Oh! Oh, shit, okay, saved it. Saved by the bell. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy doolies. Mutiny crushed, beautiful. Guys, 71 plus, so, so overall 89,000 casualties to... 8,000 casualties overall. Ignore the fact that it says 9 there. That's definitely false. Alright. Oh, fuck. They've broken through. How long we got? Just a few more days, boys. Just hold on, darlings. I know it's getting dark at the end of the tunnel. But, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you can live. Just a little bit longer. Here you go. Attack these boys. No, we don't, we just don't attack them. Just pull back to Beijing, maybe. That's honestly the best choice. You fucked everywhere else. You just, you fucked it, honestly. You cocked it, cunt. Get back. Go on. Go on. Get to Beijing. Ah, oh, you're not going to make it in time, are you? All right, let's send in some boys with a uh, strategic redeploy to rush on in and just try and buy time. Oh, oh no. Okay, lost it. There we go. Oh, their things are still around, but too bad they're about to starve to death because they are surrounded as fuck. Can you guys just leave Beijing? That'd be really nice if you could... No, like, did you actually... Okay, that just occurred. Um, you guys strategic redeploy. You guys just march. How are we doing over here? We're doing okay, we're doing okay, good. I've got more boys, beautiful. You guys join the front line, lovely. Oh my god, look at our guys. Veterans, 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 veterans. Veterans, veterans, veterans. Oh my fucking god. So many veterans. They're the best boys. Let's get infantry expert, of course. I don't mind ambush. Ambush is a good idea here, but we're going to need to start assaulting eventually, so I'd like my main guy to have a uh, infantry expert. We're, we're already holding well enough. I do kind of want to get defensive doctrine, though. Yeah, because we're not really going to be moving that fast. Um, division recovery rate as well. What about you? You've got fuck all. Alright, perfect. Guys, get down to Beijing. Oh, oh. Fuck. Alright, they've cocked it this time. No, they've, they're actually going to kill us this time. And then they're gonna kill me! Oh my god! Okay, we've got like 20 days, come on. Hold, boys, hold! You can hold, I believe in you! The Hindenburg's gone down, but you won't! Oh, you probably will. Oh, you, oh you're gone. Alright, rip, boys. I'll remember you, Hebe. I'll remember you. Nah, I've actually already forgotten what your name was, actually. It was the Hebe Jeebies or something? I don't know. Oh, okay, everyone's joined my alliance now. I feel like that was the first focus I should have done. I didn't realize they just automatically... Jo oh, fucking Christ. What? When did you guys do things? Why are you at war with me? What? 
What? Why is... I'm so confused. But you've somehow gone to war with me. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go to... Greek policy, perfect. Uh, can we get like ha a little bit less than half? Four boys? Okay, four boys will do. Just go and like deal with the whole fact that we're getting invaded right now. Thanks. Cheers. Okay. The new gun Z click join us. This uh, army join us. The click join us. Z uh, Z Kang join us. Yunnan click join us. Beautiful. All right. Wow. This is all my. What just happened? Okay. Oh, Kimmel was taken right. But immediately the map's getting painted red with commie colors. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Why can't we do the whole, like, focus thing? Oh, right, yeah, we totally can now. We could do the partisan offensive. We should do that in a moment. Oh, we need to be at war with Japan. All right, never mind. Let's get moving, guys. Hang on, can you just take the capital for me? That'd be really nice. I'd really appreciate that if you guys could do this. Tell you what, I think for now we'll leave it here. We've done enough so far. Next time, we'll continue with this weird fucking war. I have no idea what's occurring. Heebie-jeebies are, are resurrected right now. The, uh, the army's with us. The Japanese have done fuck all so far. What, what's their current focus? I swear to God. Oh. I'll see you next time.